I'm genuinely amused at the state of the world where we're going to have this hypocritical frame of society where women are perpetual victims and everything a man does to them wasn't their fault. And every single decision they make was a man's fault at some point because five years ago they had sex with a guy, which they now regret, which is the man's fault. It wasn't their decision. And they're victims who should be protected and believed in all regards. And if a man does anything to them, he's a human trafficker. At the same time, they're fierce and independent and they're equal to men. In fact, better than men in, in everything. And we've put these two frames together at, in the same society. And we're sitting here going, so if, if the truth is, if a woman can't be trusted to make her own decisions, she should be listening to her father, I, I guess. But they're saying, no, women don't listen to their fathers. They're independent. They can do what they want. Okay, well, she's independent. She can do what she wants. She decided to become a star like Mia Khalifa did. And then when she regrets doing porn, she starts doing videos saying, my manager tricked me. <laughs> That's what happened. If your manager could convince you to do porn. Wasn't three, she making hundreds of millions on OnlyFans as well? Oh, oh yeah, she's making hundreds so, of millions. So did he trick her into that? Of course he did. Yeah. So if your manager can trick you into having sex with 300 men for hundreds of millions of dollars, over a period of six years, oops. Then perhaps, then perhaps you should do as your dad says. But at the same time, you think you're too smart to listen to your father. Which one is it? Like, the society needs to make its mind up. The whole thing is a joke. And all of it is done on purpose. And it's all done on purpose to deliberately attack masculinity. It's not safe to be a man anymore.